Hey everyone, it's Sandra DeFreitas of WP Blog Sites once again, and I wanted to tell you about this plugin that I found because a lot of uh, my clients want to promote their testimonials either on a sales page or on the sidebar, and um, and they don't know exactly how to do it, or they want to do it on their own, or they want some little plugin to do it. So I found this, and I thought I'd do a great video on it to show you how it works. So it's a testimonials manager. Um, and like I said, you can put your testimonials on your sidebar, on a page, uh, all on one page, or in different parts of your site. So let's go in. We're going to install it. So I went to uh, Plugins, Add New, typed in Testimonials Manager, and clicked Search. And there it is. It's the very first one. We're going to click Install and hit OK for it to install. And then we're going to activate it. All right, cool. So now that it's activated... Yeah, there's a fun part. You gotta find where it is. Here, duh. it's got a whole section. So we're gonna go in testimonials, under manage, and um, I'm gonna add a new testimonial right away. So it has the option of either you using no image beside the person's name, upload uh, a, a picture, or use a gravatar. So if you've used, if your um, client or whoever that sent you this testimonial sent, uh, has a gravatar account, it'll show their picture. So if you don't have one to start, you can just try one. And then that way um, it'll show up. So let me, I'm just gonna put my own. I think I know it's kind of cheesy, but I know that my Gravatar works. Hey Sandra, uh, it working with you got me to wipe, wipe my tears and remove myself from under the blankets. Technology no longer scares me and I have you to thank. <clears throat> Hilarious, isn't it? I'm reading my own testimonial. So, okay, create testimonial. And now I'm going to add another one. So, this person I don't know if they got a testimonial. Uh, you know, let's say I'm not going to use an image, so I'll have something different. So it's a uh, Ted Smith uh, of Ted Smith Inc. And we'll just make up a, a site for him, tedsmithinc.com. Sandra, what can I say? Your team went above and beyond what I expected. Yeah. And I'll create one more just so we have three to go with. But you kind of see how it gets done, right? Uh, so let's see. Um, Barney. Uh, no website, no URL this time, let's say. And hi, WP Blog Sites. Thank you for the awesome uh, WordPress. Wow, I really like my capitals today. Blog site you created for me. I am showing it off regularly. People on the subway think I'm nuts. <laughs> okay, so I've done the three. Once you do them, you'll see down here that gives you kind of a bit of information on how to use it. If I wanted to create a page, I could put this and show all my testimonials. So we're going to go do that. And then we're also going to show it in a widget. But first, let's go into manage. Sorry, I wanted to go into settings. If I wanted to, I can go back here and edit them or delete them. Oh, it looks like I have Ted Smith twice. Okay, well, we'll just leave it. Um, I'm going to go into settings here. If you want, you can change this image of size image something bigger or smaller. This is CSS code. If you don't know what that is, please do not touch it. And then how many do you want to show per page? And I'll just leave it. Actually, I'll make it two just so we can see um, how it'll show up on the page itself. So we're going to page, create a new page. Actually, you know what? I think this plugin actually creates a brand new page for you. So let's just check. So we're going to go into pages and we'll just filter by date. And if there was one created this month, then 
oh yep so it did create it for us so I'm gonna just edit it and see what it's got perfect so now let's view this page so there we go see how I said just show two at a time and of course you'll want to show like maybe 10 at a time whatever but then people can go into the next page and view um, you know page two and then go back to the previous and you know the more pages you'll have more pages as you add more testimonials on there okay so let's go into our widgets and in there we're going to put in the widget for the testimonials so that we can show people so how come I don't see my widget? Come on, widget. Duh, testimonials. Ha ha ha. So I'll put that below. And how many do we want to rotate? I'll say two so we can see all of them. And we can take them to the full testimonials page as well as part of the option. That's saved. We're going to refresh. I put that in, I put it in a weird sidebar, didn't I? Taylor login. Oh, we don't want it there. We want it in our main sidebar. I'll put it right at the top so we can see. All right, refresh. And there it is. So it looks pretty good. Um, it's got all the um, items here. What I'm not seeing is the image. So this is supposed to rotate. I'll give it a second to figure that out. But notice it has the person's name in bold and then a link to their site um, if you've mentioned it. So remember Barney, we didn't mention his website address. We did not mention his link to his site. All right, so let's go into our sidebar here. And let's see, did we not tell it to put in a picture? I wonder what that is all about. So it doesn't seem to be picking up pictures. Boo! Um, let's go into testimonials and find out why. Let's go into settings. Okay. Not much here. You can either display images from Gravatar or upload your own. So, I'm not sure why the images are not showing up. I'm pretty sure I have a Gravatar set up. Uh, maybe I'll try... Oh, did I say don't use a Gravatar? Haha, <laughs> that's why. Update. Yes, so my Gravatar. There we go. So there's the Gravatar that shows up. Again, we can go into settings and make this a little bigger. You don't want to go too big with if you're going to be using Gravatars. I think like the max is like 60 um, that I would go because uh, other than that, it'll just get too big. Come on. See, that didn't seem to fix up. Um, but if you go too, well, only a little bit bigger. Uh, if you go too big, then it'll just take up too much room. Uh, but having the picture with your testimonial always makes people feel like, um, you know, that you're, um, that you could be trusted. Because it's not just text, it's not something they just made up, kind of like I just did. Um, that it actually comes from a true person. Alright, so that is the... Testimonials Manager plugin, it is brand new, it is compatible, um, like it literally went up, today's July, June 27th, it went up two days ago, it's compatible with the latest version of WordPress, so go out there and enjoy this plugin. Thank you, and we'll see you later on WPBlogSites.com.